how does the SDGOP kind of garner this and this divisiveness between state legislators, Republican legislators? Yeah, I mean, there are some real and significant divisions within the Republican Party, certainly nationally um, and locally, as we're seeing here in South Dakota. Uh, part of that, uh, and maybe much of that, owes to this surge of nationalist populism you're seeing now on the right, which some Republicans view as far right, um, but its supporters view it as a, a necessary reaction to things like globalism or to the what they would view as the aggressiveness of the Democrat Party or woke politics again. Um, bringing this, I guess, back to your question, what does this mean for local politics? Um, you know, I, I suspect nationally and um, at the level of state politics, Republicans will eventually circle the wagons and, and fall in line. There is just that tendency in our politics to view the other side as the lesser, excuse me, as the worse of two evils. Uh, the data on this varies 30 to 40 percent. Looking at national politics, election of the president, uh, 30 to 30, excuse me, 30 to 40 percent of Americans are engaging in what we call anti-candidate voting, which means they're not throwing their support behind a Republican or a Democrat, they're voting against the other side. And um, I think that mentality, that dichotomy uh, will eventually emerge in South Dakota as well and calm things down in terms of the division we're seeing here uh, within the Republican Party. You know, earlier in Ju June, people were saying, you know, he was still far ahead in June, but there were some saying, you know, it's still too early in the race, um, which after the previous debate, which Trump didn't attend, you know, we saw some candidates further, you know, go up in the rankings, for example, Vivek Ramaswamy. Do you think that, you know, he's still got a pretty good standing, even though they are making these kind of pitches and we do have an, another upcoming debate? Is it still too early, do you think? Yeah, with American politics, uh, the 24-hour news cycle, social media, and just the, I guess, the sheer chaos of American politics, it seems like like anything's possible, I guess is what I'm, what I'm getting at. But um I suspect he has in the bag indictments and, and certainly the, the 2020 election. We're still operating in the shadow uh, of the 2020 election and certainly what's going on in the 20, uh, excuse me, the indictments is is um, very interesting. And that could be um, a game changer. But um, I suspect not. I suspect, again, you're going to see Republicans um, circle the wagons, fall behind their guy and throw their support behind Trump. Yeah.